it's Shauna with Just Try To Be Nice and this is a video on what I keep in my bullet journal bag. Now I have like a bunch of different bags. I have like one with magazines and, and books to like cut up for art <clears throat> and then I have one with stickers and one with like stencils and pencils and one with like oh, I have so many bullet journal supplies it's not even funny. But this is just my travel one. This is like the one that I take with me if I go like in the girls school I'm sitting in front of the school for an hour or whatever one I take with me to my bedroom at night so let's just jump into it now this bag this red patent leather bag by the way just how awesome is this bag I found it at Goodwill for two dollars and <clears throat> when I opened it up it had an old lady's wig in it and um, I kind of uh, screamed a little I was like oh my I wasn't expecting it and this other lady was like oh that is such a treasure you have to buy it and I was like yeah so I, di I did I did and um, and I threw away the wig and it's kind of awkward because I only have one hand since I'm filming there we go okay so now we're gonna oh we're gonna pop this puppy open and I'm gonna show you what's in here so it's, and as you can see it holds a pretty decent amount of stuff so the first thing is my bullet journal course which varying lengths of thickness as we go along but I like them nice and thick so then you get to the basic supplies which are scissors these are my favorite pens right here I love these these pens they're my favorite they're like I think it was like $12.95 at Target comes with a pretty decent amount of them so I like that I like that there's 12 and not 10 I don't think 10 is a safe number as much as 12 and then I like this um, glue pen because it has both the pointed glue pen and then the dabby glue pen. And then this is something you see a lot in my um, bullet. Here, let's see if I can, can I maybe make this stay down. There we go. This is something you see a lot in my bullet journal stuff is pictures. I use a lot of pictures. So I go to Target a lot and I print out pictures like all different kinds of pictures these are all pictures about the tower this is just a picture of our house when there was like a hurricane coming through <laughs> this is funny if you know what if you live where I live then you'll know what the, what this is how to improve the Ballantine area add a Harris Teeter add a CVS why don't we odden, widen Audrey Kell and then they throw them out the window because like I live off right right off Audrey Kell and that is actually funny and um, I so I just what I do is okay so this is a perfect example this was on Pinterest, I believe. So what I did was I screenshot it and then I printed it out. And I'll end up cutting it out more. This was just something I saw on Facebook. See, these are all just, and then this is, this is something I do too. So this is a spread I really like. I like the idea of this. So I just printed it out and I'm gonna keep it in here. And then I have stuff for chores and I have stuff cause I have, play a lot of video games. So I have a lot of video game stuff. And I just have a lot of quotey type stuff. One, tough old bird you know just funny stuff <clears throat> inspirational stuff self-care just like these are challenges oh there's a picture of honey isn't he cute anyway so just a lot of pictures this is from my video game that I play seven days to die I play a lot of that so I have a lot of zombie stuff because a lot of my bullet journal spreads end up invol involving zombie stuff because I play a lot of zombie games I like zombies shows and I play a zombie workout stuff this is in here for this this which is this was this is good this was 99 cents at the Dollar Tree by the way it's a teacher's lessons planner but you can do your meals you can do your workouts you can do work stuff you can do personal stuff you can do um, chores that you got to do you can do activities that your kids you know like this is just a plethora of resources so I've got that in there more pictures one of the things I'm doing, and, I, and if you watched my March bullet spread, then you saw this, but if you didn't, let me find that page for you so I can show it to you. One of the things that I did in March was I came up with a capsule wardrobe that I really want to try to emulate. I really want to try to make that happen. So I have additions to that, like little outfits that I can wear. More photos. These were on sale at Target for I think they were yeah they were a dollar but then they were like 60% off of that so I'll probably just end up using these for something I don't know what more photos now when I go print out photos I always get a couple of these extra envelopes and then generally I'll write like like it'll say like the tower or it'll say self-care it'll say house cleaning or whatever so sometimes these are just in here because all these photos are out so I was going through them trying to decide what I want to do for April stickers 
Lots of stickers. I'm a big sticker person. I like a lot of stickers. And so that's the next thing you're going to come up on is these things. Okay. These little sets of stickers. It's a whole book of stickers. And I've used a ton of them. So this is actually from like a legit Erin Condren. So she's like a legit planner person. And these things are very, very expensive. It's for school, right? Brand new. I believe we looked it up. And I think brand new. It was like $14.99. So we were at Office Depot and there was one of these and it didn't have a price on it and it was just loose like this. And I went up to the register and I said, how much are they? And they, the guy was like, okay, they're like 50 cents each. So I ran back and got all 25 of them that they had and I bought all 25 that they had. When we got out into the car and we were looking at them, they actually had price tags from, a couple of them had price tags from Office Depot and they were selling them for $7.95, but we ended up paying 50 cents for all of them. So I have so many of these and I use a lot of them. Like I use a lot of these stickers, a lot, a lot, a lot, because I love the sparkles. I love the stars. I love the gold and the silver. So I use these a lot. And then let's see, we've got a... Our church sent us a, me and my husband celebrated our 19th wedding anniversary, and our church sent us a card, so I saved that so I can put that in there. Bunch of stencils. I use a lot of stencils. These, if you watch my uh, wish haul video, then you know what these are. These are just little habanachi stickers that I'm uh, probably going to use in April. If I And more stickers, and more stencils, and more stickers, and more stencils, and more stickers, and more stencils, and more stickers. And these are all the rest of the stencils. So those are the stencils that I took out. But these are the rest of the stencils. And then I like this a lot. So I bought it, I think it was Target. Um, actually, Craft Smart. That is Michael's. It's the cheap Michael's, though. It's like the bins in the front. Anyway, I paid a dollar for it. And I really like the uh, rainbow theme part of it. So I'm probably going to do that. I always like to have an open, like a beginning, like an art page kind of thing. So... I'll probably end up using this, and then I'll have the the tab. You always have your groceries for next week, your circulars for, like, what's on sale, so you can go through and you can decide, like, okay, well, I have this, so then I can make this work, and blah, blah, blah. More stickers. Oh, that's just some blush I got. That actually doesn't even belong in my, that belongs in my purse. And then um, some... So I like to use these binder clips. I got these um, at um, Michael's. They were left over from Christmas, I think, and I think they were like a quarter. But I really like to use them because, like, I'll just bind this whole part because I don't need to see. And if I do, I open it up and I need to see. There's the one. It's, it actually fell off. And then this is just miscellaneous pins and um, some girly stuff that doesn't belong in there. Um some pens that I like. My favorite, this is one of my favorite pens. It's, um, it is a, like a calligraphy pen. It is a, wait, wait, let me see if I can get it. I can't get it to, oh, come on. I hate when this thing does this. All right, I'll just read it to you. It's a hand lettering chisel pen. I paid $3 for it at Dollar General. Love it. Here, let me show you. Show you what it looks like. Cause it's sexy, y'all. Oh. Look at the chisel tip. Can you even see the chisel tip? Well, sort of. That's about as close as you're going to get. I don't know. There we go. Nice. So if I'm doing, like, hand lettering or any kind of, like, faux calligraphy or anything, I have to use this pen. But this pen right here, this Sharpie fine liner pen with the little penguin on it, favorite pen, favorite pen. Use it for everything. First, you go over it with this pencil, which is my favorite. It's a Bic. It's .5 lead. Um, I don't know anything else other than it's Bic and it's 0.5 mechanical pencil. I like these because they're very thin. The 0.5 makes it thin and it's light, so it's easy to erase. And then I have a bunch of erasers. Oh, I have another little goldy thing that says, um, life gets messy. And it's super messy because it's been in my shit for like two years, so it's got like all kinds of dirt on it. And I'm actually going to keep the dirt and the grime on there because that's the whole point. Life gets messy. Scotch tape because I use scotch tape for everything erasers because like I said I draw oh another anniversary card I think this is the anniversary card that my husband got me and one of the things that I do is I, I cut them up I use them I, I put them in my art and stuff so I have that in there as well and that's it that's what's in my bullet journal box now you can keep whatever you want to keep in yours this is just what I've picked out for April I've got some weight loss stickers I've got some stencils in here I've got some uh, daily tracker stencils. I've got some goal tracker stencils. 
I get these at Michael's. And I generally, they're, I think they're $4.99, but I only buy them, like, when they're on sale. <laughs> so, and they have a lot of these, this kind, this red. Good Lord, my, my camera. It's like Recollections brand or whatever. And they'll have sales where it's like buy one, get one free on all Recollection stickers. So then I get two of them for $5, which I, I can I can do that. And it's not that I can't afford any more than that. I'm just super cheap. So, like, if I can get it for super cheap, I will. And then, oh, here's some more. Che oh, check this out. Check out this poem that my little did. My little Kylie Ann wrote that. I'm going to pause it just so you can have to read. I'm not going to read it to you. You can read, but oh, how cute is she? And then this is actually, this is what the card from my friend Julie, that's what it looks like when I first got it. But then I do not like reds and yellows and pinks, so I altered it. I changed it. I painted them um, shiny. They're shiny silver and gold now, and then I added glittery watercolor to all of the um, letters. Um, so these are just some pretty little photos, nothing special, just some things to remember for this past month. Some That was me working on my bullet journal and my little cinnamon next to me and some more fashion stuff. I mean, there's nothing like revelationary in here. Revolutionary? No, there's nothing like super, super revealing or anything. I haven't gotten to April yet, but those are just some photos for April. And th so... Let's see. Let me see. It Does it have a price on it? Uh, let me see. Does it have a price? It should have a price. I think it was like $2. And it was like $207 or $230. I mean, it really wasn't that expensive to get um, to get these pictures done. And I usually get, I get, you know, about that many. Sometimes, like I said, I, I print them off. And I print them off either half and half like that. Or sometimes I print them all the way, like a full picture, and then sometimes I print them where it's like four images on one. So I do that a lot. I do a lot of pictures at Target, and I cut them up, and I put them in there. I do that a lot. So, like, that's a picture that I printed off at Target. That's a picture I printed off at Target. That's a picture I printed off at Target. That's a picture. That's a picture I printed off at Target. Um, that's a picture I printed off at Target. These are all pictures I printed off at Target. So as you can see, I, I do a lot of, I am, they love me at the Target because I'm pretty much single-handedly keeping the Target photo kiosk in business. <laughs> but like, <clears throat> here's just a better sleep yoga thing. And like, I could draw that in my bullet journal, but that's a lot of drawing. It's a lot of writing. Why would I go to all that trouble? This is something I actually want to do for my uh, YouTube channel. I want to have like a little space set up where I have like a little table and a little chair where I can do like blog, vlog type things. And, you know, this is just hilarious stuff that I found on Facebook that like totally describes my life. This is a picture of me at an Ani DeFranco concert because she's like my all-time favorite person and I absolutely loved going to see her. That is a picture of Kylie just being silly with our cat Itty Bitty. Um, let's see, here's a, here's a quote. So here's a quote. There's a lot of quotes. Oh, here's a good one. This shows you how you can get four and one. And it's 27 cents a piece. So whether you do four, you do two, or you do one, it's 27 cents a piece. So there you go. That, and I'm, yep, I'm going to cut it because I like to keep them about 15 minutes. So that's my, uh, bullet journal bag. And like I said, I paid like $2 for the bag at Goodwill. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I just toss everything in here and go. It's usually more organized than it is right now. I'm just putting it in there now for the purpose of the video. But I wanted to share that with you guys because I have so many bullet journal supplies, but I can't carry them around with me all the time because there's just so many of them. So I like to keep a bag that just has like the essentials. So if I'm out and I got nothing to do and like say I'm stuck in traffic for two hours or Haley's appointment runs over two or three hours or, you know, whatever, I don't know, the, the school calls and says, hey, there's a lockdown and you can't pick your kids up for two hours, which has actually happened twice where I live. So in that time, I'm in the carpool for two hours longer than I expected. So I got all my essentials just in case. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a good day. Bye.